This is Come and See with Father Philip Hall, turning to and following Christ in the 21st century. Father Philip is parish priest at All Saints of Lincolnshire Orthodox Church in Lincoln, England. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God is one. Amen. Begin by reading John chapter 17, 1 to 13. Concentrate on verse 3. It says this, This is eternal life to know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. This is to know eternal life. Wow, this sounds important, really important. Eternal life, and we could also stop that for saying, this is how to have life in abundance, which the Lord also promises us. Eternal life, abundant life. It doesn't mean Life stretching out over eons and eons and eons and eons of time. Because we're talking about God here, and when you're talking about God, you don't need to talk about time, because God is outside time. And we're in time. Eternal life is to know you, the only true God. To know God. And therefore it's about a quality of life, about a relationship between you and God, between me and God. A relationship that really doesn't begin with me or you, it begins with God. God starts the whole process. God reveals himself to humanity. We see it all the way through Scripture. And now God reveals Himself to you and to me, to us. It's about God making that first step. And it's a huge step. God becomes a human being. God is born in Bethlehem. God has to escape to Egypt. God lives in Nazareth. God preaches and teaches and heals. God proclaims the coming of the kingdom. God the Son goes through the passion, through the death, through the resurrection. He appears to his apostles. He ascends into heaven. And the Holy Spirit floods out over all the people as we celebrate at Pentecost. God does the work and we, we have to do something important. We have to open ourselves up to that knowing that comes from God. And opening ourselves up, we know God. It's not knowing about God, it's not getting a degree in Godology, theology. It's not about getting qualifications in God. It's not about saying lots of prayers. It's not about any sort of mumbo-jumbo, really. It's about opening yourself to God. It's about having that relationship with God. It's similar when you go into a room, there are lots of people there who are sitting around and they're all looking at you. You can have one of two ways of going about it. You can say, well, here I am. <laughs> or you can open up yourself to them and say, there you are. And in this case here, we have to open ourselves up to God and say, there you are, Lord. He won't force himself upon you. He won't push himself on you. I often thought that God is shy retiring, quiet, humble. He likes you to find him. And the relationship builds bit by bit. It's a life lived in Christ. A relationship built entirely on what God has already done. His overflowing, abundant love and goodness flowing from him throughout all of his creation and into you. Christ himself was glorified 
by his death and resurrection, his ascension, by the coming of the Holy Spirit, by his baptism, by everything, by his own creating power. And he uses that to glorify God the Father. And we too, when God comes into us, when he floods into us, when we're able to open ourselves up so that we may know him, our natural response is to glorify God. You might think, what a funny God. But it's like being that little cog in a big clock. You're the little tiny clock, cog in the clock. Everything works well when it is all of it, all of it related to the spring that drives the whole thing. If the cog decides to work by itself, it won't work. But when the cog glorifies the spring and takes its energy and power and meaning from there, then all that potential is released into telling the time in the clock, which is the purpose of the clock. And our purpose is also like that, but it is a purpose based on love, a love that springs, potentially springs, from the heart of God himself. This is eternal life, to know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent for our salvation. God loves you. God loves you immensely. And that is the whole story of the good news. Your prayers. God bless you. Amen. Join us again next time for Come and See with Father Philip Hall, a listener-supported presentation of Ancient Faith Radio.